Now, one of the things that we really enjoy um, kind of handling is this idea of string formatting. You know, say for example, my user typed in Adam. It's a good name. At least I think so. But maybe they didn't do it as a capital A D A M. Maybe they went crazy with it and they did all lowercase. They did like that. Or they go all uppercase, they're very angry, they don't know how to turn off their caps lock, or they're going all leech speaky and they got like capital D's but all their uh, vowels are lowercase or something like that. Well, this becomes a very big issue on the programming side because each one of those is not equal to each other, especially when we're trying to do something like equals equals. So what I can do all of a sudden is I can say something like name dot lower. And now no matter what they type in, everything just gets converted into lower cases, which in turn I can then in turn check to see if it equals lower cases. Same thing I have upper. But really when this becomes very kind of beneficial is when I have to say format numbers. You see, let's think about pi for a second. Pi is a big number. 3.14159265358979393. Big number. So what happens? Well I don't want to have to sort of display that every single time I'm working with my my uh, numbers. So let's say for example I do take that and I am going to blatantly cheat because no I do not know the numbers off the top of my head uh, to the you know the hundredth whatever degree. That's why I program. It's easier that way. I can make the computer do it for me. So I've got this variable x now all of a sudden. So one of the things that we can do is we have this uh, function now instead of it being sort of its own function where I type it and put something in parentheses, instead all of a sudden I can actually uh, use this with strings. As you can see, one of the things that I can do is I can come in with my print statement. Again, I always like to build my structures first. And one of the things I can do is I can put in these kind of curly braces. The curly braces are uh, Python's way of indicating this is where I want you to start the formatting. If I hit enter right now, I see nothing. However, by going in and then typing dot format, suddenly Python is understanding and it's going to say, okay, well, what do you want inside of those parentheses? In my case, I can leave that there. I'm gonna go ahead and say X. As soon as I hit enter, you see all of a sudden I get X plus or X colon all my numbers. Okay, but Again, you know, that's not very user friendly. That's kind of a, a very long number. Most users don't really like that many numbers. And that's where we get into this idea of formatting. Now, the first thing I have to do is I started off with, I want to format the number. I put in the colon. Now, if I don't do anything else, it stays the same. However, if I come in here, and I'm going to immediately skip over field width for a second, and I'm going to go into that idea of precision. Now if I go dot to f. Now what dot to f is indicating is the f is saying that it is a floating point number and I only want to see two decimal places from that number. And if I hit enter, what do you know? I get all of a sudden 3.14. So why the 9? Well the 9 suddenly, it's just like it says, it's a field width. And so if I put in a 9 all of a sudden, then when I hit enter, you see that nine spaces are being taken up before one, two, three, four spaces were being taken. Now all of a sudden, kind of mirroring it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spaces are being taken care of. So what about that, that nice little kind of right over there, that little questionnaire experiment? What does that do? Well, let's start off with, I'm going to put a, 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 a little pipe here just a pipe to indicate the end of my string. Okay, fair enough. Well, I'll come in, change this to a 25. We already know that that just means I'm gonna get more spacing, which I do. But then let's just see what happens when I put that carrot in the front. Nice little carrot there. Oh, oh, look at that. It centers it actually, that's pretty nice. Same kind of concept can go in just to see it. If I go and hit the greater than symbol in there, it says to make it right aligned. If I hit the left sim the less than symbol, 
make it less aligned. Simple enough. But what about that dash right afterwards, or right before that? Well, the dash allows me to say, what is my trailing thing? And you know, right now it's spaces. But if I say dash, all of a sudden it becomes dashes. If I say, for example, put a period there, it's a period. If I come in and I put the pound sign, where are you? There you are. It's pound signs. So it just allows me to kind of do a little bit more formatting uh, with my numbers.